Hello guys, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can use Pro Builder in your Gorilla Tag Van game. Now, I already have my map over there, um, but for example, you just started, right? I'm going to show you, first of all, how to get it and how to use it. So, all, all you have to do is <coughs> go up to Window, Package Manager, Change this to Unity Registry, and then search for Pro, Xcom Pro Builder, and install. And then after you have that installed, um, you're gonna want to press on the Y view. You want to go up here to your Pro Builder. Actually, you want to go to Tools, Pro Builder, and then click on Pro Builder window. And then after you press on that, <coughs> you should have something like this, like probably over here, right? You're going to want to drag that wherever you want. I usually put it here. And then center in the, once you're in the Y view, you want to click on New Poly Shape in the Pro Builder menu. And you want to click on the points for your map, like this. And then make sure it connects up in the end. And then after that, you want to click on this little edge selection that button. Click Control A, Control E, and make it go up. And then do Control E again, make it go up again, and scale it down. And boom. If you want to this to be, if you want it to be like a pit in in the uh, map, you want to. Do control E and then scale it outward like this. And then you have this. Um that's not what I do though. Um yeah, so just have it like this. And then once you have this, I'm assuming you are gonna want to add some uh like depth to your ground. So you wanna click on this and you want to um, click on the grass and then click on subdivide faces a few times until it ends up looking not like that until it looks like this all right <coughs> and then hold on I'm confused here. Why does this disappear? Okay, well that hopefully that won't disappear for you. But um pretend like that never happened. <laughs> okay, you might be able to fix it, hold on. Yeah, there. Okay. So once you have done the subdivide surface thing and you have your map, right? You want to click on the surface on like different faces and stuff move them up and down and all around and then you can get some depth in your floor you know like this and then you can do the same with the walls if you want like and do subdivide spaces and then make like different yeah, things, you know, like that, um, <coughs> now, <laughs> let's say you want to add textures, you're gonna want to select all of your grass faces, um, so, let me select all of mine, you want to hold control while clicking all these, by the by the way. And then once you have that, you're just gonna want to drag on your texture. Wait, no, don't don't drag on a normal image. You want to drag on a material, um, like this. And then, boom, you have your grass. And then you're gonna want to select all <coughs> of your wall faces. Now, I'm. I'm sorry, she but I, um, you probably should have, um, I forgot to tell you that you should, um, put the textures on before you subdivide the faces, 
but it's okay because we still can add the textures. So, all you have to do is select all your faces. And then, once you have all your faces, you just want to do the same thing but with your wall texture, whatever one you're using. Um, for an example, I'm going to use a rock texture that I use for my map. So we're just going to drag on this. And there, two textures on one object. How cool is that? Um, now, if you ever have a a hit sound script where you have different hit sounds, I recommend selecting on all your graph spaces. Um, I'm not gonna do it right now. But select on all your graph spaces, and then press detach spaces, and then it makes the grass and the walls two different objects, so you can add two different hit sounds to it, um, which is pretty good. I'll show you right now. Go to my hierarchy, and I'll go down to here, poly shape two. This is what I'm editing right now. Now, um, as you see, if I press on detach faces, it makes a whole nother shape. That's our grass. See how it's not selecting the walls? So if you add hit sounds to your game, you can then have a grass sound and a wall sound on this shape that you just made, which is really good. Um, <coughs> and then if you want to make different rooms and stuff, well, don't don't uh, worry about this. This is just I don't know why this happened to me. This this, this won't happen to you. I promise. Um, hold on. Yeah, you can select like the edges and stuff of your Pro Builder objects and move them around and fix the map. <coughs> if you want to make <coughs> different areas, you want to select the wall that you want to have the entrance to it on, and you want to have on Cut Tool, and then make the shape of your entrance to your map. And then, after you have that, you should have this little face that is shaped like what you just made. Then you want to control E and move it in. And then you sort of have this tunnel. And then do control E again. Move it forward. And then you can select the walls. Control E. Move it. Select the other walls. Control E. Move it. And boom. And then you can select all the ceiling faces, control E, um, move up, and then I'm going to fix this real quick, and that should be good. So this is, that's how you, that's pretty much just a good, um, uh, pro builder tutorial, um, I will see you guys in the next one, bye.